Wagwan, namaste and welcome people, welcome back to Football Therapy and welcome back to Chelsea News, the series where I give you guys the news headlines regarding Chelsea Football Club that's going around football media and offer you my opinion on said headlines. And today we're going to be talking about midfielders playing in Syria, wingers playing in Syria, Frank Lampard's intentions with his own midfielders. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, I wanted to give a shout out to Hakim Ziyech as well. He's won player of the season for the third time at Ajax and he's the first player to do that. Boy oh boy, Chelsea's right hand flank is going to be absolute flames with Ziyech and Rhys James next season and maybe N'Golo Kante or whoever plays the right midfield. Position! It's going to be great. So if you enjoy football man and you enjoy Chelsea Football Club content why not subscribe to football therapy if you've not yet done so man hit the bell notifications icon help a brother out like the video remember i upload every single day so you know enjoy the movement man jump on board anyway let's get on with it first up let's talk about a report from espn it seems to be common knowledge now that chelsea are intending to do a rebuild at first that was a mass rebuild Perhaps since the pandemic that's turned into a slightly smaller rebuild, but a rebuild nonetheless. And of course, a lot of names being banded about who apparently Chelsea were considering to sell. Those names included midfielders of great value in both Jorginho and N'Golo Kante. Now, this report suggests and informs us that Frank Lampard and Chelsea Football Club will resist all approaches regarding both midfielders. That's right, both Jorginho and N'Golo Kante to stay at the club. Frank Lampard loves N'Golo Kante, always has, even before he got into management. And of course, he has a great affection for his vice captain, who he appointed vice captain, by the way, Jorginho. Which leads me on to the next part of this story. Jorginho Pjanic, the rumoured swap that actually a lot of news outlets were talking about. Apparently, Frank Lampard has absolutely no interest in Pjanic, which is kind of good, which is a relief for me. Not that I wanted to disrespect Pjanic, I know he's a good player, but he's in his 30s now. Even if he's a superb footballer, dropping him in to the Premier League for the first time in his career in a new team when he is in his 30s, for me that comes with a great deal of risk, especially swapping him for a player two years his uh, junior, who is a specialist player who can play in the Premier League, who's proven there's too much risk involved and it doesn't benefit Chelsea enough. So it's good to read that Frank Lampard has no interest in Pjanic and we can move on and look to enforce different positions and areas on the pitch. So let's move on to the next story regarding wingers attacking mids forwards. Federico Chiesa of Fiorentina. The 22 year old Italian is widely regarded as a very good player, a very promising player. He has nine goal involvements in Syria this season, which is okay, it's not great, but considering he's playing for Fiorentina um, and, you know, he looks like a promising player, he could be attracting attention. Now, the club, the agent, people from his camp have confirmed that there is interest in the winger slash attacking mid from big European clubs, and of course, he has been heavily linked recently with Chelsea Football Club. Frank Lampard's Blues. Now, Federico Chiesa can play anywhere along the midfield, central, left or right, and can obviously play on the flanks as well, and indeed can play as a forward if needs be. So, an incredibly versatile forward, and when you're that young and you're that versatile, it's obviously means you're of great value, essentially. What do I think about this link, personally? I'm not overly excited about it, but hold on, let me move on to the next story and then come back to Federico Chiesa. So, Jeremy Boga, you know that I like him. I would have preferred him. He'd be quite high up on my list in terms of wingers that Chelsea could bring in that would, you know, fit their need. Chelsea have their starting wingers in Hakim Ziyech and Christian Pulisic, for me, they do. And with Callum hudson Adoy rotating, and you know, even Mason Mount who can play on the left wing, they've got options, but they still need that sort of fourth real winger option that can rotate in and out. For me, that would have been a, Jeremy Boga would have been the perfect candidate. An amazing dribbler, can score long range goals, a really good footballer and generally quite young. But a couple of news stories today are stating that Chelsea will not exercise the buyback clause option to get Boga for incredibly cheap, closer to 10 mil than 15. I would have really liked this man. Now I must stress this is just a couple of reports coming out today. I'm not entirely sure where the source is from, but it kind of looks like 
this could be the case and I'll tell you why. I think it's personally because they've probably contacted the player who of course was once of the Chelsea Academy and briefly first team and I think they would have spoken to him and said look do you want to come back we can exercise this buyback clause and I think he probably would have said yes but news reports suggested it would be on the condition of guaranteed minutes and why not man he's like 22 or 23 playing in Syria Italy's top flight scoring wonder goals being you know recognized as a bright bright star in European football why would he give that up starting every single game being a club's best player to come and sit on Chelsea's bench I get it he's very very good he might get into the first team and starting lineup but he doesn't need to win back a place where he is at the moment he could keep playing as a swallow get better and better and better and who knows maybe Juventus come in and buy him so he starts on the wing in two years to replace Ronaldo if he's got that good do you know what I mean he's probably got these visions in his head about what he can do where he is against what he can do trying to win a place in the team at Chelsea of course this is only speculation on my part I'm just trying to you know provide a thought experiment for you guys so if that is the case and Chelsea do not exercise the option to buy back Boga maybe the likes of Federico Chiesa we go back a story suddenly makes a bit more sense sure he might not be a goal machine but he's 22 years old and he's incredibly versatile and he's playing for Fiorentina which isn't the biggest team in the world um, and maybe he thinks a step to Chelsea you know of course increased wages that's a massive thing in your career you get more money yeah I'll go and do that he might be that fourth choice winger for Chelsea. You know, 22 year old cultured footballer from Italy to come and just offer what he's got in rotation, start in the cups, come off the bench, see what he can do in English football. Remember, anywhere in the midfield, flanks, even up front, Frank Lampard might look at that and be like, yeah, if you can get him for a cheap price, he will be our fourth choice rotational winger if Jeremy Boga doesn't want to be. Do you catch my drift? Again, only a thought experiment. I'm speculating here, I'm looking at headlines and I'm telling you guys what's going on inside my head. But I am interested in getting your thoughts on that as well. So do you think it sounds sensible from me or do you have another opinion? Get it down in the comment section below. So let's have a quick shout out for Chelsea's new boy Hakim Ziyech. If you haven't seen the emotional short sort of documentary almost on the Ajax YouTube channel, I suggest you go and do it, just bang the subtitles on. They talk about his four years at Ajax and the emotional journey, what it is, and he's brought to tears at the end, it's actually kind of nice. He's actually won player of the season for Ajax for the third time and apparently the first player to do that which is testament to the excellent player that Hakim Ziyech is and the excellent player that Chelsea Football Club are getting next season. Just think for a moment, Chelsea's right flank, Reese James at right back, N'Golo Kante rotating on the right or Mount or, you know, Ruben Loftus-Cheek if he moves over, just loads of talented ballers. And then Hakim Ziyech up top, feeding balls into attacking midfielders or Tammy Abraham. It's going to be incredibly exciting this player means business, he's at the prime of his career, he should drop into the Chelsea team and he really should perform, hopefully, straight away. <laughs> See, when we talk about Hakim Ziyech winning all these awards, of course he's going to start for Chelsea and he will start on the right wing, I think. Chelsea do play a 4-2-3-1 sometimes with a cam and if they do play that, he'll probably play, to be honest, he'll probably play on the right wing still and Mason Mount will play in the cam again, maybe. Because I think Mason Mount will start because he's important the way Chelsea play. The left-hand flank has to be Christian Pulisic. When he's been in the team, his expected goals and assists per 90 is second only to Tammy Abraham, Chelsea's top scorer and number nine. Pulisic has to start. Hudson Odoi will get his chance to rotate in and try and, you know, prove his worth, get into the team. But those two are the starting wingers for me. And that's why I talk about Chelsea's next purchase being a rotational winger anyway what do you guys think get your comments down in the comment section below tell me what you think of these players and the stories i've spoken of today and remember football is back the bundesliga is back and if you're going to watch the bundesliga come and watch the watch alongs with me on jan's yard we're going to talk about the games as they're on in the live chat so make sure you do subscribe to jan's yard there'll be a link in the top of the description and there's a, uh, there's a game today, a massive game, the Derby, Schalke versus Dortmund. I'll be doing a watch along for that, so do come and hang out. It's going to be loads of fun. Uh, yeah, why not? And if you've enjoyed this content, why not like the video? Subscribe to this channel also if you're new. Follow me on social media at 
Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me. You know, enjoy the football that's basically happening now, and I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.